together. Bunker Roy and his work have received a long list of accolades, among which are these. In 2010, he was identified by Time magazine as one of the 100 most influential people in the world. The Guardian, a leading British newspaper, named Bunker Roy one of the 50 environmentalists who could save the planet. Some time back, I'd heard about the groundbreaking work that he was doing in the villages of India, but I had no idea just how powerful a model his approach has been in bringing hope and livelihoods to millions of people across the world. So, I could not miss this opportunity of sharing with you in this interview the incredibly inspiring story of Bunker Roy, the mind-blowing difference that he's making across the world in transforming the lives of disadvantaged rural people and especially underprivileged women across India, Africa and elsewhere. Sanjit Bunker Roy is an Indian social activist and educator who has founded a paradigm-shifting organisation called Barefoot College. It's based in Thelonia, a village in Rajasthan, India. Having got his degree in English from St Stephen's College in Delhi, Bunker Roy decided that he needed to find out what it was like to be a real Indian, as he calls it, and got himself a job as an unskilled labourer in an Indian village. For five years, he dug wells to get drinking water into villages. It was in 1972 that he set up Barefoot College. Barefoot College is so called because it gives practical skills and vocational training to people from rural communities who are among the most impoverished, exploited and marginalised. This Indian college turns rural women into technicians and engineers, among other things. As quoted on Skoll Foundation's profile of Monkaroi, Barefoot's approach has been implemented in over 78 of the least developed countries. A total of 40,000 houses in over 1,000 villages have been solar electrified by nearly 800 illiterate rural grandmothers. Only using sign language, in six months, they are solar engineers. To date, some 3 million such people, many of whom are illiterate or semi-literate, have benefited from the practical skills and knowledge that Barefoot College provides through its learning by doing approach in skills including solar engineers, teachers, midwives, weavers, architects and doctors. The work of Barefoot College shows that illiteracy is not a barrier to economic self-sufficiency, nor does it need to be a showstopper to self-development. Let's hear this extraordinary man's point of view of what it has taken to be an agent of in India. My real education started when I started the Barefoot College in 1971 and I went to live with people who earn less than one dollar a day. And that's when I was exposed to the most extraordinary knowledge and skills that very poor people have. And I thought I'd start a college only for the poor, built by the poor. And the first thing I convinced myself to do was that anyone who had some knowledge and skills in the rural area would be recognized by the Barefoot College, but anyone who came to me with a degree and qualification would be disqualified. The Barefoot College was built by someone who still can't read and write, but it is by far the only Barefoot College, only college in India which is fully solar energized. It has 45 kilowatts of panels on the roofs and everything works off the sun. For the next 25 years, I have no problems with power. But it was actually installed by someone who's a village priest who became a master trainer and an engineer who's only done six years of primary schooling. And he went on and started training women as engineers. This is the first barefoot woman solar engineer of India who doesn't know how to read and write, but she has solar electrified 30 night schools. And we started solar electrifying, training women and putting them into the most remote parts of Rajasthan. And wherever we could install night schools, we would have solar lanterns and 7,000 children would work off these night schools at night. And wherever there were solar lanterns, they would earn more income. We went up to Ladakh and we solar electrified 300 villages up in Ladakh. Their story is that of India's Barefoot College. Following a bottom-up approach, the Barefoot College in India has trained hundreds of semi-literate and illiterate women, many of them grandmothers from villages in Asia and Africa, to become solar engineers. 
the women from all the countries arrive at the Barefoot College, where they live and train for six months. After being trained, these women have gone back home to establish electronic workshops, install solar panels and batteries, maintain and repair them, and change life in their remote villages forever. Moreover, they have trained others in neighboring villages to do the same. In many developing countries, rural villages are often cut off from the main power grids. Connecting them to mains energy is often too expensive, making the centralized system an ineffective solution for these poor communities. Decentralized photovoltaic systems are a much more viable, sustainable and cost-effective solution. The Barefoot College in Thelonia, India is the collective effort of many barefoot professionals and one of the founders is Bunker Roy. The college began in 1972 with the conviction that the solutions to the problems of the rural poor lie within the community itself. In the mixture of the traditional knowledge and skills along with new technologies, that simply requires some adapting to their specific situations. You have to actually develop the people to do it themselves so that they could then replicate it on a large scale. Your job is to facilitate, your job is to spark it off and then let it fly on its own. And it has flown. We make a big mistake by bringing in technology first and then thinking of training afterwards. You should sensitize the community first to technology. The 80,000 square feet college complex stands as a testimony to this potential. It was designed and built by barefoot architects with locally sourced materials using traditional knowledge passed down from one generation to the next and is the only fully solar electrified college in India today. Barefoot College started training young people and semi-literate and illiterate rural women to be solar engineers in the 1990s. At the beginning, the trainees came from all over India. जो महिलाएं अलग-अलग भाषा होती है सभी की जो आने वाली महिलाएं होती है उनको प्रैक्टिकली हम उनको सिखाते हैं जैसे कलर कोडिंग सिखाना है तो रेजिस्टेंस का कलर कैसे पहचानना है उसका वैल्यू कितना है प्रैक्टिकली उनका लैंग्वेज में हम जो कलर कोड उसका लिख के उसके बारे में बताते हैं उनको और प्रैक्टिकली उनके सामने करते हैं कि किस तरह से सोल्डरिंग करना है पहले हम खुद करते हैं वो देखते हैं फिर उनके हाथों से वो करते हैं To date, barefoot solar engineers have installed solar photovoltaic home lighting systems and fabricated and produced solar lanterns across 10 states of India. 350 villages have benefited and a total number of 12,000 households have been solar electrified. <laughs> यो मां के घर के मई अंदर है उजाले उठा तो रोटी टुकड़ो बना हुआ है मजबूरी आ जावे तो ये चानन जोर में बेटर बना लिया खाना खा लिया आराम से बाल बिचन आराम से बिचा के सोण गया यही को स्वार्थ है साब मां के द कॉलेज हैज मेनी विलेजेस फ्रॉम व्हिच टू चूज बट फॉर सोलर प्रोजेक्ट्स टू वर्क एंड लास्ट द विलेजेस देमसेल्व्स मस्ट आल्सो मेक अ कमिटमेंट वंस द विलेजेस हैव साइंड ऑन फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट the committee guides them to select the women for solar engineering training in Thelonia. The college soon realized the best candidates were middle-aged women, most of whom were grandmothers. During their six months of training, the women are taught by other semi-literate and illiterate women to set up sophisticated charge controllers and inverters without using the written word, to install solar panels and link them to batteries, to fabricate solar lanterns, and to establish a local electronic workshop where they can carry out all major and minor repairs to the solar power systems themselves. शुरुआत में हम सोलर में आए थे तो बहुत परेशानी आई थी मेरे को सीखने के लिए कि इन चीज का ये नाम है इन चीज का ये नाम है तो घरवालों ने बोला कि कुछ मेहनत करेगी तो सब सीख सकती है नहीं मेहनत करेगी तो क्या सीखेगी फिर मैंने सोचा कि हम मेहनत क्यों नहीं दिमाग लगा सकते हैं ये तो सीखती है तो हम क्यों नहीं सीखते हैं तो फिर क्या विदेश से महिलाएं हैं ना बिन को देख के बोला कि ये तो अपनी भाषा में नहीं सीख सकती है तो बोल नहीं सकती है नहीं सीख सकते तो हम तो सीखेंगे फिर मेरी रुचि बन बन गई सीखने के लिए फिर मैंने सीख लिया अभी मैं बना सकती हूँ और ट्रेनिंग देती हूँ बस साल भर होगी मेरे को सीखी हुई Because of the barefoot challenge, more than 19,000 rural homes have been solar electrified across 750 villages of 19 countries by 471 semi-literate barefoot solar engineers. This has led to a total saving of 100,000 litres of kerosene per month.
Poor village communities can run solar units on their own if they are trained to install the solar equipment at the village level, as well as repair and maintain it. These illiterate rural women have demonstrated that this is possible.